Hi guys and welcome! We often tend to focus our attention on the tracks, on the models, leaving the lighting of the layout in the background. I want to show you how to improve in the easiest way the lighting with some LED strips. For a railway model layout, a lamp in the center of the room is never a good solution. It needs an homogeneous and correct light with more light points. In a normal room, you can use a track support from a ceiling with LED strips or also spotlights. For example, my layout is in an attic room with inclined ceiling. Before showing you my solution, shed some light about the different kinds of LED strips. There are different kinds of strips. At first, we can talk about the addressable strips. They have, in addition to the power and the ground, a third data pin. They need then a controller, like Arduino, through which we can make the light effects that we want. Every single LED could have, in any single moment, its own color, and it's easy to create fades and effects. In my case, I've created a sunrise, twilight, night effect. On the web, it's possible to find many different plays of light for free, from which we can learn how to program our personal effect. Don't forget to insert a resistance between the Arduino and the strip. The simplest strips to use are the monochromatic ones. Just two pins, one usually at 5 or 12 volts, and the ground. They need a transformer with the right voltage and enough ampere. I use a modified old PC ATX power supply, so I have enough power for it all. The strips are usually divided into groups of three or more LEDs. You can cut at the end of any group that has its own resistance and simply connect the two cables to the transformer. The features of the strips depend on the type of LEDs. When you buy it, read the code. On the right, there's a 2845 LED strip. They are good but small. The bigger 5050 LED strip needs more watt but makes more light, as you can see. Don't forget the color temperature. 3000 Kelvin, by my experience, tends to match toward a yellow light. A 6000 Kelvin light, often used for example in some aquariums, is too cold for a diorama or layout. I've bought a 4000 Kelvin strips and I think it's perfect. I've cut the 5050 LED strips into small pieces and I glued them at the distance of approximately 1 meter between one and the other. I put a switch between the transformer and the small strips, just in case I want to exclude them and use, for example, the sunset light. I've used the 2845 strip for the scenery. I've already started to use it inside the main station building using another 12 volts channel. The building is not finished. We are ready to test it using an Italian intercity in XMPR livery, which, being mainly white, is perfect for the test. Compare the result using just the addressable strips on the lower part of the screen with a new light. I think any comment is needless. The pink effect has disappeared. The colors stand out way better. They are more realistic, recalling the reality, and the background of a scene is also illuminated. My tips come often from my mistakes. The lights are an important, basic element of our layouts, and we should consider and resolve it before starting the construction. I thought the addressable LED was enough, but it wasn't, especially when we make photos or videos on the layout. We need a powerful, white, the effect light. I've done many photos and videos using the flash or a secondary mobile light put on the scene. With a correct illumination, the details of our realization, the small scenes we are going to create will stand out and the judgment of the observer will be completely different. No matter if you use a strip or some spotlights, the important things are the power of the lights, their homogeneity and their color temperature. While you can admire the passage of an Italian intercity under the new light, I thank you for watching and I'm waiting for you in the next video. Bye guys!